I will be looking at uh, Euler substitution method formula of x uh, multiplied by any equation that has a square root of ax squared plus b of x plus c dx. So we usually use uh, this formula, uh, all our substitution method, whenever we are finding a, a, an equation which has a square root, but most especially that square root should have um, like one of the highest power to the power of two. Then also uh, it should have a value on b because if if b is equal to zero, then don't use this formula. I would suggest you use trigs. Trigs can work more. They are more efficient on such type of questions where you just have a of x squared plus c. If b is not allowed, trig substitution is the best on such type of questions. If a is the one which is equal to zero, also I wouldn't suggest that you use this formula. Just use normal substitution, the first class or the first type of substitution that will be best. Okay, let us uh, try and establish the conditions for this formula. How do we you go about using Euler substitution? There are also cases for Euler substitution when you can use it and how you use it. So like for the first, the first case, if a or the value of a is greater than zero, then your substitution should be like a of x squared plus b of x plus c. This should be equal to, because of the square root, you can say plus or minus square root of a multiply x plus t. Okay, this plus or minus, plus or minus is because of the square root. But in some some videos or some places, they might just tell you plus. But you should put in mind the square root can give you two values, plus or minus, depending on the question. This is scenario number one. If the coefficient of a or if a is greater than zero, this is the type of substitution you should do. But if a is less than zero, but your c is greater than zero. The substitution you should make for this equation, this should be equal to here, uh, we are the square root on a, but in the second case, what you have will be xt plus the square root goes on c. So this is plus or minus because of the square root. This will become xt plus or minus square root of c. The third case, this the equation that you have in the bracket, this equation, ax squared plus b of x plus c. If this ax squared plus b of bx plus c, if you can express this into an equation which is ax minus x of 1, x minus x of 2, if this can become a product of two, two equations, then you can replace what you have here or what you have inside the square root with this, of which one of this x minus x2, you can just represent it as t. So your final equation will be this. You can replace it ax squared b of x plus c. You can just represent it as x minus x1 of t. So this is the substitution you can use for what is in the square root. In the third case that is if and only if this can be expressed as a product of two equations all right so we try and solve question using the same conditions that we have so start with our first example uh, integral of one over square root of x squared plus x plus one d of x okay so first thing we can tell that our a is greater than zero so we shall use our first case of which we shall replace square root of a of x plus t. This will be equal to the square root of what we have inside there, x squared plus x plus 1. Meaning this integral will look like 1 over 
uh, square root of a x plus t d of x. Okay, so in our case, a is equals to 1. So, meaning uh, square root of 1 would just give us 1. In this case, we shall take positive 1. So, this will be x plus t is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. Okay, so what is x in terms of t? I mean, what is t in terms of x? So, we first start by making x subject to the formula. How do we do that? We square both sides. So, here you square this side, square the other side. Okay. So, what you have is x squared plus 2x of t. t squared, this is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. This cancels out with this. The one with the x comes this other side. So, you have 2x minus x is equals to 1 minus t squared. Okay, this is when you factor out x, you have 2t minus 1 is equals to 1 minus t squared. x was equal to 1 minus t squared over 2t minus 1. So we write it somewhere. x is equals to 1 minus t squared over 2t minus 1. Okay. So we find uh, the dx dt. dx dt is equals to, so we use the quotient clue. What we have is 2t minus 1 multiply negative 2 of t minus 1 minus t squared multiply 2 over 2t minus 1 in bracket squared. If we try and simplify what's on top, what we have is negative 4t squared plus 2t minus 2 plus 2t squared of which these two will give you negative 2t squared plus 2t minus 2. So our dx is equal to negative 2t squared plus 2t minus 2 over 2t minus 1 squared dt. Okay, so go back to this equation. You know that a was 1, so this is just the same as integral of 1 over x plus t d of x. Okay. So we just replace where there is x, we place this. So we have 1 over where there is x, we say 1 minus t squared over 2t minus 1 plus t. This was just the same as if you were just saying 2t minus 1 divided by 2t minus 1. Because when you do this, you still have 1, which will just give you t in the end. Then this was multiplying the dx. Our dx is equal to this value here. So we have negative 2t squared plus 2t minus 2 over 2t minus 1 squared d of t. Okay, so here you have the same uh, denominator. When we delete this, this goes on top, so you have 2t minus 1 over 1 minus t squared plus, okay, so here you have 2t squared minus t. This multiplied with negative 2 t squared 
plus 2t minus 2 over 2t minus 1 squared d of t. Case, uh, this will give us, we have a negative t squared and plus positive 2 squared. So what you have is 2t uh, minus 1 over here you have t squared minus t plus 1. This multiplied with, if you factor out negative 2 here, you have negative 2. In bracket, you have t squared minus t plus 1 over 2t minus 1 t squared dt. Okay, so this will cancel out with this, or is this will cancel out with this. So the equation that you have will be integral of negative 2 dt over 2t minus 1. This will give you negative 2 ln of 2t minus 1 multiplied by 1 over 2 which this and this cancel out what you just have is negative ln of 2t minus 1 plus c and that's our final answer